Hello friend, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the concept of economic value added or EVA. Uh, friend, let me tell you that is a, it is a very basic and very easy concept to understand and uh, I am 100% sure that you can very easily understood, understand the concept of EVA or economic value added. So let's start. Uh, first of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option. So what is EVA? Economic value added or short term is EVA. Basically friend EVA or economic value added it is basically a project selection method. It is basically used uh, this concept is basically concerned with whether the project returns the company more value than the initiative cost. What does that mean basically? Basically friend, it is a methodology used for project selection and this is basically some sort of indicator that shows you how, uh, if for example, if you have invested $10,000 and you are getting value $11,000, that means you are good, you are getting some value. Similarly, if you are have invested $10,000 and you are getting $9,000, so that means you are less getting less value as compared to the funds you have invested so uh, that that means you are getting less value so guys this is basically the concept of economic value added or EVA this concept is basically concerned with whether the project returns the company more value than the initiative cost initiative cost means the investment you have done you have invested for the project this is the main concept of economic value added. Friend, let's try to understand more about EVA. Basically, EVA, it is used to measure the value a company generates from the funds invested into it. If company's EVA is negative, it means the company is not generating value from the funds invested into the business. And if EVA is positive, it shows the company is producing value from the funds invested in it. Just remember that friend, negative means bad, let, uh, negative means uh, a company is not getting proper value or more value as compared to the uh, investment uh, funds they have invested. And if the EVA indicator is positive, it means they are getting more value as compared to the investment they have done for the project. So remember one thing, if EVA is negative, that means it's bad, like you are getting less value as compared to your investment. If EVA is positive, that means it's good and company is getting more value as compared to the as compared to their investment. Uh, friend, remember, uh, let's try to understand the benefits and drawbacks of EVA. EVA is basically a uh, indicator and the calculation shows how and where a company created wealth. Remember one thing, the EVA is very important and it gives you a very good insight that where company should invest and where should not invest because it gives you, uh, give you a very good indicator. Uh, remember one thing that EVA calculation relies heavily on the amount of invested capital and is best used for asset rich companies that are stable or mature. For example, multinational companies or very, uh, I mean, having having very good revenue, having very asset rich based companies but like multinational companies. So the EVA is a very good indicator to use in these types of companies to see where they should invest or where should not invest but uh, remember one thing that companies with intangible assets like for example software houses have which are such as technology businesses so they should not they are not good candidates for EVA calculation uh, remember one thing why th it is not good Rem uh, try to understand the concept of EVA EVA is basically based on the financial factors it uh, like for example it based on the calculation in the Excel for example see that for example you have invested ten thousand dollars so in terms of financial factors how much you are getting from how much value you are getting from the investment but intangible assets it, they are not basically based on the financial factor so this type of calculation cannot be done in the EVA for, for intangible assets so the companies which are not 
not so stable or you can say not based on intangible assets so the EVA is not a good choice to uh, use as indicator there the companies like multinational companies which are very good uh, or asset rich companies they sh can use the uh, the concept the concept or the indicator of EVA because it is totally based on financial calculation and it is a good indicator so where to invest and where should not invest so uh, EVA is good for companies which are asset rich companies like multinational companies or so it is a good indicator to use in that companies and companies which are having intangible assets for example software houses and other technology business they are not good candidates to use EVA as a uh, as an indicator because the they consist on the based on the assets which are intangible they uh, so that's why EVA is not a good choice to use in these types of companies friend for PMP exam e economic value added should rarely appear in questions or answer choices um, uh, let me try uh, let me tell you that in PMP exam there are very low chances that you you can see some sort of question or multiple choice question in the exam for economic value added they are very very low chances that you you could see these these types of questions in the exam uh, but as a project manager as uh, as as a study if you are as a student of project management you uh, you should know and uh, you should know the main concept of uh, economic value added and you should know how to use and what is the usability and where to use the uh, economic value added and where should not use the economic value added uh, you should know the benefits and limitation of economic value added as well but in in terms of PMP exam if you are uh, going to give the exam of PMP exam let me tell you clearly that there are very low chances that you sure you can you should see any question in exam for uh, economic value added but uh, as a project manager as a student of project management you should have idea you should have the clear concept about the economic value added so that's why if any ch chance came towards to you to uh, use the economic value added concept so you should have the ability and the clarity about this concept so uh, friends uh, I have taken your lots of time uh, I would just request to please subscribe to my channel if uh, you like this video and if you get some knowledge about uh, economic value added please share it with your friends and colleagues and also please like this video uh, if you have any cons questions about the concept of economic value added you can ask from me and I would love to answer your uh, your question so thank you and uh, thanks a lot for your time that's all from my side thanks a lot